Let's play video. I am Wartdog for GeezersandArms.com. Tonight, we're going to play a couple matches on Call of Duty Black Ops. And we're play some on, uh, playing on some tactical servers. And before I get in here, if you don't know, which you may not know, a little heads up. It's one of my favorites here. Okay, here we go. Um, this version of Call of Duty for the PC, obviously, um, is the last version of Call of Duty that has uh, dedicated servers that people can rent and that they can administer. Um, and that's kind of big in the Call of Duty world that I've been hearing. Uh, as far as I know, Ghost does not have uh, these dedicated uh, servers, let alone the server browser that you see before you. Let me make sure. Yeah, great. We're doing great. Um, so this makes this game kind of unique. And being this is what three go yeah two versions three versions old going on four when ghost comes out you can see there's 1100 servers online 3300 players still playing this game solely because people can do crazy stuff like tactical crouch servers and what that is and I'll show you here in a second you basically they're just regular maps they're hardcore regular maps and the whole premise is to slow this down and technically not really make it a Call of Duty speed or style of game, you have to crouch walk everywhere you go. And that is pretty much universal across all these servers that I will show you here in a second that say tactical or crouch or hardcore tactical crouch. Let's take a look here, Kirill, super fast and quick. So you have like tactical crouch, another tactical crouch. Um, trying to see, there's another tactical crouch. Let's see if I have a couple of filters on, so that's why. Here's another crouch server. But what this is is, as you will see, the admins on here are very uh, in active and involved. So if they see you. Or hear in the hear or see in the text, the chat, that you are running like a normal Call of Duty game. They will warn you once or twice, and they will kick you. And you'll see kind of how this plays out. Let's just jump right in. This is one. This is one of the ones I play on a lot when I play this. So. Yeah, so if any of the new Call of Duty games in the future on PC ever have server browsers, that'll be the next game that all these crouch tactical servers go to. Because before this game came out, it was uh, World at, Call of Duty World at War was the last game that had a server browser where you could do these tactical servers. And that's where I first found out about this kind of hybrid game mode, which I've just love to death and you'll see here so we're gonna crouch walk and if you ever watch the chat here you will notice people will say hey so-and-so is running or the admins will be involved and they'll say hey you stop running or like and this is up oh, hold on see it's this makes it so much more realistic so much more realistic and if you do team kills you know you, you're supposed to go in there and say you're sorry in chat which is you know kind of the kind of a way to go I suppose but as you can see this really slows down the gameplay and really you know if you think about it kind of makes this an entirely different game to play which I do appreciate and like And usually, for the most part, you some of the tactical servers will let you stand up. And is oh, that guy's in good now. Okay. Shoot. 
come on. Oh. <laughs> I didn't see. I swear to God, did anyone see this name above his head? No. But the, the, there are a couple exceptions when you can run. If you are on, under direct fire, you can run to another cover spot. Or if you, if there's a grenade. Oh, there's a dude up there, and I'm going to get him. I'm going to get him. He's waiting. Ah! No, no, no. Shit. I didn't have an angle. I like this kind of futuristic gun with the burst fire, but I really need an ACOG on an M16. That's that stuff's that's pretty good. When you spawn, crouch first and then move. Yep. See it's not it's kind of wavy. It's not too bad at medium range. This is a very good gun at medium range. I just I just like it because it this is just a whole different game. You play this game on regular mode. It's not as fun. And yeah, you don't get as many kills. But it's very satisfying when you find someone and kill them before they kill you. It's really satisfying. Which is why, oh god. Which is why I tend to, when I play on the, uh, the 360, play the hardcore mode. Whoop, uh oh. Oh, yeah. See, that was my first kill, but it's okay. It's totally, legitimately okay. Oh, come on, you piece of shit. Come on, I got you. Hey, go down there and snoop out that guy. I see him. There we go. This guy. Yeah, what's up? Yeah. Damn it. is not quick enough. Oh, God. You should not zoom in like that. So, you know, someday, someday, they will have a Call of Duty. And, you know, they can still change Ghost to include it for PC, but I somehow I would I doubt that. Alright, because they have to redesign kind of the multiplayer then, and if they do it like they have been the last two times, and now possibly three times with Ghost, it's just kind of a copy and paste. Shit, he was ready for me. Oh, he had a better beat on me. Uh, yeah, P uh, PC specs, if you're wondering, um, I got an i7-3770K, I got 8 gigs of uh, crucial memory, 
uh, just bought a new video card, NVIDIA uh, 6, 670 GTX. Uh, it's a it's an EV or E what is it? A EVGA for the win edition, and frame rate I'm easily easily getting um, 60 upwards of like 90 frames a second. I know I don't have it on now, but I've checked this before with Fraps, and it's it's a uh, it's extremely smooth. This is this is uh, Xbox 360 smooth. I mean, it's I I love it. I love it a lot. And again, I encourage. Oh balls! But that's okay. That's he got the drop on me. It's legit. He killed me first. I'm cool with that. Because that's kind of why I like hardcore. Because if I die, it's my fuck up. It is not anyone else's for the most part. You die in a regular team death match, kill confirm, you know, domination, capture the flag. It could go either way because of, you know, you emptying half a clip in a dude. It could go either way. Oh, and I also um, do not have an SSD. This is just a regular... <clears throat> regular uh regular ass one terabyte um I think it's a Western Digital Black Edition. Just hard drive, nothing nothing too special. I've thought about SSD, but for the price per gigabyte, it's ridiculous and I have so many freaking Steam games installed. I want space over speed and it once you're in the game and once the game is loaded an SSD does not give you very much advantage, if at all. <clears throat> so, that's kind of why all my friends uh, have one, some of them have two SSDs, and I'm like, dude, I want all my games installed so I can play them whenever the fuck I feel like it. And I don't have to worry about, well, I gotta manage my games and only have 10 games installed, and if I want 11, then I gotta. Totally uninstall one or two games to make it fit. I don't want to do that. I want to install a shit ton of games. I know the, there are advantages. To S ah! Don't do that. Don't do that. See? That was my that was my mess up. Of talking instead of playing. But that's fine. For the purposes of this awesome, awesome show. <sighs> I just, I love, I can't say enough how much I love these tactical servers. Can't say enough. Hop head, you need to crouch. No running. See? See, you heard the admins? I don't know if you heard the admins there. They are really on the ball. Oh, where is a dude at? Okay, I'm going to, I don't know about that one, but. That's a little BS. That's fine. <laughs> These idiots crouch walking. <laughs> you must crouch on this server. Oh my god, see? Talking again. Alright, I promise. I promise. I'm going to play better for you people. Is that Jack Wagon? He was in there, wasn't he? <laughs> There, told my buddy he's, he's in there. I can see, I know he's in there. Let's see, he died. There we go. God damn, finally. First kill. I just like the, this, I mean, this really honestly adds an element of stealth. Oh, wait, what's that guy? Yep. Adds an element of stealth, and who can get the better position on your opponent? It is not a bunch of little kids running around with all their hacks and mods and, you know, whatever. Oh, man, oh, man did you see that kill? That was awesome. Spy plane. Help my, help my bros out. 
think we got them there. Shit. I know he's down there. I know he's down there. Oh, man. See? See? Let me try, uh... You know, ah, fudge. Do I have? There it is. There's my. There's my M16. I'll try that next round, or next death, I should say. You must crouch on this server. Warning: one of three. It's pretty generous. Usually, there's one. Usually, there's two warnings. And half the time, it's like, why the frick do I need to crouch? Because they have no clue about these tactical servers. I don't remember if I have World at War installed or not. I may or may not. I need to be closer. Ah, oh, damn, I should have... That's me. See, that's on me. I knew there was probably a dude there. I should have checked my corners. <sighs> la, 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 la. All right, playing serious. Playing for all the marbles. There's probably a dude. Hey, I like this better. This doesn't have the sway. Oh, Look at that! doesn't have the sway as the other one does, but it doesn't zoom in as much as the other one, so it's kind of... Look at that! This one's just freaking dead on accurate. Wish it had a better... Look at that! Is anybody watching this? I do agree with you, chat. This would be kind of a cool... Ah, see? Fucking around. That's what I get. I do agree that it'd be kind of cool if... Uh, there were these tactical servers in Battlefield. That would be just balls awesome. But it'd probably it'd have to be on infantry only. It'd have to be on the smaller maps. But It might also be chaos having... 64 players <laughs> doing all of this crouch walk. It'd be kind of funny to see. Bam! Look at that! Look at that. There's no sway. There is zero sway in this thing. That's what I love about... Bam! Bam! Let's pick these guys. Oh, shit. See? Getting too cocky. <sighs> Getting too cocky. Oh, shit. This guy. Haha, I saw you on the radar. I'm getting cocky again. I'm going to stop that. Um, I want to go up the middle. You never go up the middle on these maps. Whether it's tactical or not. Always stay for the outer rims. I'm in the freaking lead. That's what that's how awesome I am. Okay, we got... Oh, shit. He's behind me. How in the balls are they... Ah, uh, switch spawns. Bam. So close. That was that was a good kill. That was a solid kill on the on the other dude's part. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. Oh, this is just. I wish to God every Call of Duty on the PC had these tactical server it had like a, a server browser which would then lend these tactical servers because there's a lot of once kind of the main Call of Duty crowd has moved to the next Call of Duty game 
this is about all that's left. Well, I shouldn't say that. That's not fair, but this is a wah. This is a majority of the servers left. Are these uh, kind of slowed down tech servers, which is just awesome. Just awesome. Just pop up. Just pop up. So easy. Bam! Headshot. I need extra points for that. Bam! Headshot. Oh, it's just so easy. Come on. Stick your... F oh, shit. You sneaky bastard. It's my guy. What? Oh, I see what you're doing, you sneaky fudger. Ha ha! God, I don't want to. God damn it. I know, but I got a freaking. Damn it. Oh well, that's fine. That's fine. I think I'll get something cool. I think I'll get something cool. Come on! That's just ammo. That's fine. Whatever. <sighs> That's freaking cheap. Where's he at? Look out! A second! A oh, second! Beat everyone on the other team. Came in second on my team. I'm happy with that. This isn't me, is it? No. Should I frickin' level again? Should I go to Prestige? What do you think, chat? Should I go to Prestige? I don't know, because I'd lo lose all my cool weapons. And I don't play this nearly as much as I do on the Xbox slowly, because all my friends are on the Xbox. And I did pre-order um, Call of Duty Ghosts on the new Xbox One did pre-order that because I do love sitting my next to my big TV on my couch playing Call of Duty and if I stick to the hardcore oh, modes, yeah I don't know I don't know what you just said if I stick to the hardcore modes in Call of Duty um, I know I have a better experience than just regular stuff Why are you you're gonna run down the corner? Why are you running around the corner? Fudge! I had one shot and I missed it. Cause I flinched after he after he nicked me. I agree with you, chat. Prestige is bragging rights. It's it's stupid. I guess if I always stick at like level fifty, even on the first level. I could always tell folk, yeah, I did this like, you know, three months ago. So I could have totally prestiged like three or four times. Yeah, but, you know, whatever. I, I'm, I'm guilty of prestiging on my three. I think every game, oh man, what was it? Every game since... Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 2, Black Ops, Modern Warfare 3, Black Ops 2, I've always prestiged two or three times at least, but that's not toward bragging rights, it's just like, hey, one of my, one of my hooks of gaming is just, just, I just enjoy leveling stuff up, whoops, that means they're coming out of the corner there, I enjoy leveling stuff up. And if I'm always at prestige, you know, 50 or whatever, I don't technically level shit up because I'm totally have everything. But, you know, that's, 
I don't do it to to race to Prestige 10. I have a handful of friends that are Prestige 10 in Black Ops 2, and I think <laughs> I think one of them. This is hilarious. One of them actually uh, reset their Prestige 10 back down to, to nothing, to zero. And I could not figure out why. But he, he, his defense, he plays a lot of Call of Duty. I mean, all of his, all of his skins, his camo things. It, oh man. He, he had gold, he had gold and diamond camo for most of his weapons. Most of his weapons were gold and diamond, which I'd be like, yeah, I'm totally. I got a, I got one or I got two or three that are gold. I have none that are diamond in Black Ops 2 on the 360. If I had diamond on anything, there's no way I'd restart and reset all my stats. Which is obviously what he did. And as soon as he did it, he, we were playing that one night and he was totally regretting the whole thing. <laughs> but, you know, whatever, I guess. it's It doesn't mean much. It doesn't take you long. It doesn't really take you long to get to decent weapons halfway through a prestige, so. Mm, oh, come on. I just love I just love the fact that I can do a three round burst and just murder someone as in real life and these it's just it's a good feeling which is why I like playing hardcore modes uh, I play hardcore mode in Battlefield 3 a handful of times and I hated the hell out of it which was weird. I like regular mode in, ba in Battlefield and I like hardcore mode in Call of Duty. It's, it's, I don't know, it's weird. Oh, shit balls. Ha! <laughs> you looked the wrong way. Oh god, that was my guy. Don't go up there, don't go up there. Oh, you got it. Awesome. Ah, fudge. <sighs> yes, chat, you hit the nail on the head. You absolutely are correct. This battlefield is way more complicated than this game to do. That's, that is it. That is, you are absolutely correct. 100%. A dude, isn't it? Oh, fudge! It hit above his head. Come on, I had to hit him. Come on. Uh, time is it? Eh. I really want to. I'm gonna play like one or two more matches, and then I'm gonna do a video tonight, hopefully. And kind of show off um, the new Saints Row 4 inauguration station that came out as a demo in Steam. And I think it's, all it is is you just create your character in there and just kind of play with settings and stuff like that. And you can import them into uh, Saints Row the 4th when it comes out in a week or two. I just want to show that off to folks so I'm gonna probably do that after this and if there is time left which God willing I'll make time I'm gonna oh, you fudger you fudger you're not gonna get me hundred bucks he's coming down below What do you want to bet he's coming down here? Unless he got killed. Yep, hold you. 
This is this is easy. That's possibly what I would have done, but I knew you were coming down there. I don't know if I want to get caught in that because they're going to be oh balls. What? That was a solid hit. That was a solid hit. That was halfway across the map. Oh, dude, look at him and blow your head off. Don't. Don't do it, man. He got the, uh, he got the ankle on me. It's a good deal. Can't complain. Come on, get me in there. You play regular Call of Duty. I freaking I'm a dirty sit. Come on, bro. That's fine. Whatever. I've done that too. Oh, you didn't say sorry. What the... I don't even know where that car came from. Alright, I think... Let's go this way. <laughs> that wasn't bad boy in your room. Oh, God. Come on, stick your fat heads out. Ah, he's going to get it. See if he gets blasted. I would totally buy... I would totally buy all the DLC for this game. But... If I remember correctly, there, I saved your asses. I need a thank you card in the mail. Oh, shit. Is that, oh, God, I almost nailed that guy. Yeah, the Falcon. But the DLC for these Call of Duty games, especially in uh, Steam, never go on sale. Every summer sale and Christmas winter sale, they never go on sale. I don't know why. No, I don't. I don't. I don't play this game enough to warrant going prestige. This is a good map. It's a good map. Yes, Chet, you are right. Only, only at the. Uh, I guess every so often they have. Well, they, whatever the current uh, Call of Duty game is, they, a lot of times they do the play multiplayer free this weekend, and they usually have like you know. 40, 33, 40% off, stuff like that, which is cool, but yeah, the DLC is, but honestly, I, don't, I haven't run into a lot of these, if you're into this type Get of, server, oh, shut up, you stupid voice chat, if you're really into these tactical servers and start playing them a lot, there are not a lot that, that are, require any of the DLC. Which is fine, I guess, right? I bet they're going to come right there. Bet you they're going to come right there. Or they're going to come right there. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, something bad's going to happen. And usually I have, I think in this game I have, oh, I don't know, two, maybe three. They're gone. You oh, done. Quiet, dude. Quiet, 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 quiet. I have two or three favorited uh, tech servers that I always play on. This one being one of them. 
There's a couple other ones. Um, and I don't think I don't think any of them have DLC in their rotation, which is totally fine. But I would I would love shit. What? I don't know where that guy came from. Anyone know? I don't know where he came from. <sighs> I'll agree with that chat. I will agree with that. It is kind of the... Oh, oh, whoop! Oh. Blast you. Bam! Yeah, you got me before. I'm going to get shot in the back, aren't I? <sighs> I will agree that DLC maps and such for these types of triple-a oh, oh oh I didn't shoot you I didn't shoot you where's my sorry I, I'm demanding my sorry yeah okay that's cool uh, 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 uh. it does kind of splinter the audience I will admit and even among your friends, there's some friends that play a lot of, I get on and play Call of Duty with on the 360 every so often. And a lot of them just bought the original game and did not get DLC. So when I want to play with them, I can't play any of the new maps, which, oh shit. This is a really good map though. So you can lean. You can't lean in console games. Actually, I think one of the new... I can't remember which one. It might be Call of Duty Ghosts. It's either Call of Duty Ghosts. That was a good shot. It's either Call of Duty Ghosts or uh, Battlefield 4 that you can lean in. I think it's going to have the bumpers, bumper buttons on the, on the controller as your lean buttons. Charlie leaving. It's good. It's always been there in PC games. Look at that. I love that. I love that. I don't know if I want to go down there because that's kind of a death trap. Ah, screw it, right? Screw it. So you go right here and you lean. What do you got? Oh, see? See? Someone's coming around the corner. Probably up top there. I'm going to totally get jacked. Oh. Alright. Alright. I'm gonna need now. I'm kind of getting in the opener. Oh come on! Oh my God! How did he not get me? Thank you for I think attacker. I gotta sit here. They can come through there and I can nail them. Ah. See, I only got four kills. But I'm in totally enjoying myself in this gameplay. Ah, uh, except when I get frickin' side jumped. Uh, do I have a plan? I don't know if I do. Nope. Gotta follow the RC car. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Ba -ba -ba. 
We'll see if uh, we will see. Oh, there you are. Oh, I should. <laughs> my fault. That is my fault. Uh, could easily took that dude out. Stupid. That's stupid. Could have easily took that one dude out and then the other guy farther away. So stupid. Bam! Whoa! That's freaking... That's having a... That is... Oh, then I do that shit. I do that shit. Well, that's having a good gaming mouse, I think. Because I'm not getting any younger with the reflexes. Don't walk into the smoke, dude. Be right there. Be right there. What the what? Come on. That's boo. Boo. I want to go up there. Hey, what the hell? Alright, this guy is up here. He's up here. I'm gonna nail him. Watch this. Oh, shoot. I thought that was... Oh, yeah. Oh, I see you. Ha! <laughs> oh! That's awesome. Um, yes, I currently have a Logitech G500, and I have always, probably for a long, ever since I got rid of the dumb, oh, what's over there? Since I ever get, got rid of the dumb uh, trackball mouse that I think I used in the early part of uh, Battlefield 2, um... I've always done logic. Okay, leave that pistol alone because it's gone. Are you in a wind tunnel, dude? Come on. Oh, dude. Too late. Next time we're the wall. I gotta disable that stupid chat. Yeah, I would, for me. Bye. Dude, really? I, w I would recommend. I recommend the Logitech mice. Where uh, I see, okay. I'd recommend any Logitech mouse, strictly because. Let's see if you can see it. This is my mouse. G five hundred. I like th I like the feel of it. Oh God, Jesus Christ! Whatever, I don't care. I like the feel of this because I got big fat man hands. And I've tried the Razer mice before, and it just. I think I bought one Razer mouse before, and it was, it was, uh, what do you want to call it? It's the same on both sides. It's uh, asynchronous. I don't know what you want to call it. But it's identical. The left side and the right side are identical. Fudge, I could have had them both. That's, that was decent. Hey, kills. But uh, because this is geared toward a right-hander, which I am, obviously, it's it really feels good. I can grip it good. I use I don't know, I use kind of a a hybrid. I guess I use kind of the palm palm grip. I don't use the claw grip. I kind of just palm it. If that's I think that's accurate. Okay, this is a good one too. So I'd uh I always seem to get the next uh like the, every other mouse that Logitech uh, shoots out, I've I've heard really good things about the the Razer mice. I just it's smaller. It just it just doesn't do it for me. If you want to believe that, and I've I've always been extremely happy with my Logitech gaming mice. So I mean I I think the first one I had was. MX510 I think that was MX510 and then I had a We've taken the lead. 
Then I had a 518. Then I had a couple other ones, and now I have this one. Right there. Right there. Come on. There's always some on the balcony. Come on. Wait. <laughs> now that's one hell of a frickin' tr shot. Uh. That was an awesome shot. I need infrared. Okay, see? See, I got it too, so whatever. I would definitely try, um, go to, go to, if, if you kind of want a little different store, a little different mouse, because from, a, I've done basic mice before, and I get a, a ton more grip and control out of the gaming series mice, and there's even, um, God, I bought another cheaper gaming mouse. It's over, it's over there. I'm not going to get up and get it. Um, I'm going to say it's the G300. And that is the newer version of the extremely popular G, or the MX518. Which is probably Logitech's one of their best-selling mouse ever. It's kind of the entry-level gaming mouse in their, in their G series. I'm just going to go like this and freaking see what happens. I know what's going to happen when I stick my freaking face out there. I know what's going to happen. Nothing, there's nothing there. Let this guy get shot off first. You know what you do? You do this. Yes. They're not going to find me. What? How did he get back there? But this is what I would tell someone that's curious enough about a gaming mouse. Go to like a Best Buy or Walmart or Target or whatever. Get whatever Logitech G series mouse they have. And know kind of their return policy. So take, take the sucker home for a weekend. Plug it into Battlefield. Call of Duty. Whatever. And uh... See how it plays. If it doesn't play right, take it back, get a full refund. Nobody is... Nobody is... Oh, shit. Okay, yeah. Someone's coming through there. I can feel it. I can feel it. Stuck my freaking face out too far. That's, that's not on me. Or that's not on them. Me being a stupid ass. Ha 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 ha. Ha! Ah. Sucker. As I'm crawling, they're going to come out on the left. I bet you. Ah, dude. Shit. Come on. Yeah, I do that a lot for kind of my weird 
gaming and tech stuff. Then I'm like on the fence. I'm like, yeah, looking at videos is fine and dandy on YouTube or whatever, but. Oops. F just wasn't ready for that. But uh, yeah, I usually do that for a lot of my keyboards that I get or uh, flight sticks. I haven't bought a flight stick in a long time. Um, but a lot of my, my gaming mice, I've returned a good handful of them just because I didn't feel right or the buttons weren't right. But another thing um, to consider about a gaming mouse, I believe all of the Razer gaming mice do not have a left a left and right click on the scroll wheel. It's just like, you know, the wheel scrolls like normal. You push it in and it kind of has a middle mouse button, but it doesn't have a left and right. I know the lo the Logitechs have Oh, got you. I got you. Oh, come on. Did I not kill him? Oh, I see. No, I did. Ha 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 ha. ha. Oh. Okay, whatever. But um but yeah, there's a there's a left and right on on this one. There's a a left and a right um, toggle with the mouse wheel, and Logitech probably does it the best because Microsoft really doesn't have gaming mice. They have regular mice, but not gaming mice. So once I kind of figured out that Logitech had this, and this has been on a, several of the gaming mice in the past that I've bought and. That gives you an extra set of buttons. So you go into the Logitech software, you set it up, and I use this ex all the time, all the time for Battlefield. So I have, you know, you have your, you know, left click, right click. You have these these two thumb. Yeah, I got killed. I know. You have these two thumb buttons. Hope you can see that. Not really. These two thumb buttons. And then I have the another button that toggles this way because you just hit it with your mouth, your finger and it just goes. It's to, it's super easy to toggle. So that that gives me a Jesus Christ. That gives me um like my my pistol. Oh, that was nice. So I got pistol, main weapon, um, med pack, and defibrillator. If I'm doing medic in Battlefield. If I'm doing, let's say, engineer, I got my pistol, I got my um, main weapon, I got my, oh, I don't know, um, rocket launcher, RPG, and then I have my mines. So you have, a, you'll be, you're, you're able to toggle four of your weapons on your mouse, which is awesome. And that's kind of, that's one major reason I love Logitech. Razer mice don't do a left and right toggle um, on the middle mouse wheel. That just takes away two buttons that I use all the time. I use this for Call of Duty um, as a pistol, as a knife. Um, so that's something else to consider. Because I love mapping my different weapons and gear to my mouse button. So I don't have to frickin' hit the buttons on the keyboard to do it. Um, and another thing to look at... Oh shit, that's a frickin' Huey. Another thing to look at... Shit. Is the type of... Um, the keyboard that I use. I don't know if we can... I'm going to show this here. This is a, uh, well, this is a Eyes, uh, Z-Pad Merc Stealth keyboard. You can see this whole gamepad thing here on the, what is it, the left-hand side. I love this. This is so much better. The layout is a little different than if you're just using, like, this half of a normal keyboard. It takes a little getting used to, but I it's hard to go back to a regular keyboard because it's the keys the 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 movement keys are tilted a bit 
So, um, and they're configured in a weird way that it's really easy to get to all the buttons. It's great. I love it. And I think uh, Steel Series that they make other gaming peripherals bought Z-Board. So now if you want this, it's it's just it looks exactly the same, but it's a Steel Series uh, brand now. But again, if this thing dies, I will absolutely get another one of these keyboards. It's just it's I I love this keyboard. It's got big fat buttons for the WASD. The Q and the E are right. I mean, they're bigger than the normal one. It's tilted to the side, so it's really easy. It's easy on your wrist. It's awesome. It's awesome, awesome, awesome. Highly recommend finding those at like a Best Buy or something and figuring out a return policy that works for you and then taking that home and trying that out. It's my Logitech mouse and my, my little... Uh, my little Merc Stealth keyboard is awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I think that's pretty good. Ba -ba 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 All right, I'm going to play for for Rilio, playing for reals. Ha ha! All you do, all you gotta do is sit in a spot and look for movement. These Call of Duty kids that play the regular mode, they sit there and run around corners and just shoot from the hip. Ha ha! Ha ha! Alright, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go down. Oh shit! It's right there, isn't he? Oh, see, I should have stayed back. That was on me. I should have stayed back. I need to play more of these games. I've been playing a lot of weird oddball games. Some indie, some not. But I need to get back to my core game that I love. Is is this these PC Call of Duty games and um, get down here. Battlefield. I know what you're doing. You. I knew as soon as I heard that. <laughs> Alright. This is going to be my last match before I do the Saints Row 4 um, inauguration station. Which is probably going to be a quick video. But oh, you... What the... Yeah, I got Saints Row 3 um, at this last summer Steam sale. I've I played it all the way through on the the 360 before, but uh, really liked it. So I I knew that it looked tons better on the PC, which it does. So I've been kind of playing a couple missions here and there. I know I'll not. I know I will not um, finish it a second time on the PC before. Saints Row 4 comes out, but I just want to get back in the groove of the Saints Row universe. For 4 come. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
I need to put more battlefield in. But this is just very compelling and fun. Just playing this and not giving a shit how I do for. Oh man. Be around that freaking corner. Out there. Come on. Here they come. Here he comes. Here he comes. Come on. Come down the hill. Come on, big boy. Oh, you, I know you're behind that barrel. Freaking bastard. I'm going to have to come up and get you, aren't I? Let's try it again. I know as soon as I round this corner, it's going to be coming down. It's freaking what always happens. Fudge. Well, I just gave away my freaking position. Oh, man. Come on. Ah! Ah! What, what the hell is that? Freaking's on fire. Think. I wonder if there's a dude in here. Um. Oh, come on! I wanted him. I will not be twitching during the double XP event for Battlefield this weekend. Only. Only because. I will be out of town for like the whole weekend starting tomorrow night. So unfortunately I won't be. If I get some time tomorrow, because I do have, oh fuck me. I do have the day off tomorrow. I might stream a little bit during the day. I don't know how much, I don't know when I will be, probably in the afternoon. I, I don't know. I may have time to do it, I may not. I, I think the double XP starts tomorrow. So maybe I will try to squeeze that into my schedule. If it works out. Otherwise, I'm, I'll definitely I'm going to be streaming more Battlefield. Just, you know, randomly. Maybe doing different servers, different... Ah! Oh, come on! Right through the... That's awesome. I'm awesome. Bam. Oh, come on. I really wish. I really wish the new Call of Duty games had these servers on it. I really do. I need to go back and stream. Um, Call of Duty World of War for these types of servers. I'll. I need to. I need to check that out. See if there's anybody still playing that game. Let alone, oh fuck me! Let alone, haha! You didn't know there was a buddy back there. <laughs> I think that's hilarious. Oh, what we got here? Oh. Yeah, I don't give. Oh, damn, he's ready for me. I saw a dude pop up, and there's shrapnel. But you can bet your bottom dollar on Xbox One. Unless I've read something wrong, um, their partnership with Twitch is built into at the hardware level into their computer, into their console. I mean, so if I'm not mistaken, or I have not misread something. You will be able to stream on Twitch every single game on Xbox One. I'm going to get you because you're not ready for me. 
Bam. Shit, what am I in? This gas? What the fudge? Ah. Uh. So you you will bet that I every game that I get for Xbox One I will be twitching. Cause I think that's how that works. Which will be awesome. <clears throat> so yeah. That was a great effort. That was fun. That was awesome. I need to do this. I need to do these tax servers more. Um it's fun to play them. <clears throat> oh, shit, this is a good map too. I can't do it all because I I want to play a little I want to play a little bit of Battlefield tonight, but uh, yeah I think I'm gonna do the Saints Row the Fourth uh, inauguration station next and then maybe a little Battlefield after that tonight. But thanks for watching. I am War Dog for GeezersAndArms.com. We are hey, let me get out of here quick for a freaking great. Give me out. Yeah, it's fine. That's a loss. Um, yeah. Head over to geezersandarms.com and check out our mature community site. Um, 25 years of age or older is what we're currently accepting. Um, if that fits your build, come on over. We're playing a shit ton of games. Any, anywhere from 3DS games all the way up to hardcore MMOs and RTS games and Civilization and... This Battlefield, Call of Duty, just and every game in between on Steam, and and uh, Xbox 360. That's probably our two most, our biggest platforms on the site. We do have PS3 guys. No, I don't think we have any Wii U guys. Um, myself got some Vita guys. Very small amount of 3DS guys, but. Uh, But yeah, it's, uh, come on by, Have, enjoy the show, thanks for watching, I'll see you.